Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today we have a, a simply supported beam problem and in this problem we will find the unknown support reactions of this beam. So the problem states that a simply supported beam of length of 12 meter span has two concentrated loads of 5 kN and 8 kN. There are two loads acting on this beam simply supported having length of 12 meter the loads are concentrated loads and they are 5 kN and 8 kN at 3 meter and 8 meter from left end supports and it also states that the loads are acting from the left end of the beam one is at 3 meter and one is at 8 meter and find the reactions at the supports so I can figure out the beam here like this is simply supported beam and the length of this beam is 12 meter it is given to us and there are two concentrated loads, one is 5 kN at 3 meter from the left end, right? This states from the left end support. So this is the left end, a simply supported beam has two supports, one is the hinge support and one is the roller support. And this states that the 5 kN load is X at the at 3 meter from the left end. So this is 3 meter, right? And also states that 8 kN load X at the distance of 8 meter from the left end support. So from the left end, this load is 8 meter. This load is at 8 kN load x at a distance of 8 meter from the left support, right? So this distance from the left support is 8 meter of the load 8 kN. And the other distance is 3 meter of the load 5 kN. And we are interested to find the support reactions. So let's consider this is the A point and the, this is the B point. So the reaction here it, it will act here is Ra and the reaction here at X will be the Rb. Now to find the Ra and B, so the Ra and Rb are unknown to us. Now these are the hinge support and roller support, so they cannot resist any movement. So we can say that the summation of movement at either support are equal to zero. So now first considering that the summation of moment at the A point is equal to zero. At this point the moment is zero. So we will calculate the moment now. So this and let's suppose that the clockwise direction is positive. The moment acting clockwise will be positive and the anti-clockwise and the anti-clockwise will be negative. So the five the at point A we will calculate the moment. The 5 kN load X clockwise you can see here around the A point. This is the clockwise direction moment of this 5 kN. And the moment arm is 3 meters. So 5 into 3. So 5 is the load and 3 is the uh, and 3 is the moment arm. So it comes out and the other it is positive sign because it is acting clockwise and we assume that the clockwise is positive. The other one is 8 kN. It is also acting clockwise. So 8 into the moment arm. The moment arm is the whole moment arm is 8 meters. It is given to us 8 meter. Now this is the RB. RB also acts around the A point but this force is now acting anti-clockwise. You can see here it is acting anti-clockwise around the A point so we can see here that it will be negative and the moment arm for RB is 12 meter and the summation of moment at A is equal to 0. Now we can calculate here that 5 into 315 and 8 into 864 and we can put this into right hand side so it will become 12 RB so uh, by adding this we get the uh, 77 uh, by adding this sorry we get the 79 is equal to the 12 RB and dividing this 79 by 12 we get our answer which comes out to be 6.58 so this we find the RB. Now to calculate the RA now. How to calculate the RA? So RA is unknown to us. Now we will take the summation of moment at B is equal to 0. All the moments at B is equal to 0. And assuming similarly that the clockwise is positive moment and the anti-clockwise is negative. So now the RA is acting here. You can see the clockwise direction. In the clockwise direction you can see the RA. So RA is acting clockwise direction into the moment arm is 12 meter and then 5 kN is acting anti-clockwise direction. You can see here anti-clockwise. So 
so minus 5 into the so the moment arm for the 5 kN you can see here is at this one so we can get out the moment arm for this one is the 12 meter is the whole length and if we subtract this 3 meter so we will get at the moment arm for this 5 kN subtracting 3 from the 12 meter we get this moment arm and, and 12 minus 3 is equal to 9 so we get 9 again the 8 kN acting is this way so 8 is anticlockwise into moment arm is this one. So if we subtract the 8 meter here from the 12 meter hole, we will get this moment arm which is 4 meter again. Is equal to 0. Now RA, 12 RA will be equal to the, by moving this into this into the right hand side. So 5 into 9, 45 and 8 into 4, 32. So by adding these two, we get the 77 and sub dividing this 12 here. So we get the answer of 6.41 kilonewton. It means 6.41 kilonewton is the RA reaction and RB was 6.58. So these are the two reactions we found out here in this problem of simply supported beam. Now the equilibrium of vertical equilibrium states that your vertical reactions should must be equal to the upward direct upward forces should must be equal to the downward forces. The, up, the upward forces were our A and our B, upward direction, and downward forces were 5 kN and 8 kN. These were acting in the downward direction. So our A was, you can see here, 6.41, and our B was 6.58. So it comes out to be 13. So by adding these two, it comes out to be 13 is equal to the 13. So it, we state that the, our support reactions were fine correctly because the uh, upward forces were equal to the downward forces according to the vertical equilibrium and we prove that our vert vertical forces are equal because the upward forces are equal to the downward forces so, uh, so our reactions were calculated correctly. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.